so we're gonna start the night with something slightly different something i wanted to try for a little while so in this past week or so uh i've really um gone into like a rabbit hole of fan-made danganronpa stories slash games slash videos you know um massively fascinated because i you know as someone who says myself the danganronpa series maybe second favorite video game series in existence for me um hadn't really ventured too far into the fan-made stuff uh and then i just i ended up like i don't know what started it but this past week or so really fell into um like i said some kind of hole where I was just checking out different stuff. Um, and so there's a bunch of it. There is a bunch. And so, you know, I streamed uh, last year Danganronpa V3 for the first time and played that for the first time and streamed it. Uh, obviously played the other games in the series and everything. Loved the hell out of it. And I, I still craved more of the story. I still wanted more of that kind of storytelling and everything like that. And so, fast forward to this past week, and then tonight, and whatever. I'm going to try something slightly different here. So I'm going to explain it for just a bit, and then we'll hop into and get started. So I've got pulled up here. I've I sifted through a lot, kind of, of different stories, things being done by different people and stuff. And I landed on this one that I want to first give a look at. Um, so I'll say it's, it's called Brave Danganronpa coward's paradise um and what i'm essentially gonna do here is do a watch along slash reaction video here um which is not something i normally do obviously as you know on the channel we're gonna see how this goes see how um you know i i just kind of want that whole like let's watch kind of something and chill and like i said i wanted more of that dang and rompa type storytelling so um, like I said, I look through different things. Uh, this one is interesting because, um, it's fairly new. Uh, I think you'll, you'll start to see, but they, it's just the prologue so far from what I can tell is done, which is broken up into five episodes. Um, it's called, I, I realized I didn't, um, give the name here. Um, it's Brave Danganronpa, Coward's Paradise. And what it is, it's basically, uh, minus the game part, it's essentially, how do I put it? It's just a video on YouTube. So they do all the art, do all the music, make the story, writing, all that voice work, great. It's just minus the game, right? So it's like if essentially if you were watching a Let's Play of a Danganronpa game like it's outside of your control basically doing a terrible job explaining it but it's called brave Danganronpa coward's paradise let me make sure uh, I want to make sure uh on twitter uh on twitter at sh it's like shsl guitaru uh I don't know what the beginning letters are or if you're supposed to pronounce them slu guitaru uh, on Twitter there, um, shout out to them as well. I, uh, because I'm so not used to doing something like this, uh, actually messaged them on Twitter, uh, just to, um, make sure that I wasn't, how do I put it? Not stepping on your toes, uh, by doing something like this. Cause like I said, as someone who's not as, uh, unknowing of this type of scene, and also, like, the um, manners, is that the way to put it, manners of doing something like this? Um, I just, you know, checked them on Twitter. I asked them, I DM'd them, I was like, hey, can I, is it cool if I do something like this? Um, totally dope response, totally understood. Um, so, shout out, uh, links to, uh, there's going to be a lot of links uh, if this goes up on YouTube, um, but to their Twitter, to their Discord, to um, to the the playlist or the uh, channel where this is being done. Because the other reason I'm going to link the channel especially is the hope 
if there's like a hope I had is that if you watch this and you're like, I'm actually interested in seeing the story, then you do one of two things. Uh, either you stop watching what I'm doing because I don't care. Um, you stop watching what I'm doing and you just go and watch through the episode yourself or watch the episode yourself and then come back and watch my reactions to it. That's totally cool too, whatever. Um, because there's the whole like, hey, support the original thing and everything. Um, the original series and stuff. Uh, like I said, from what I could tell, I didn't want to watch too much or anything. I just wanted to, I scrubbed through a couple of bits just because I wanted to see, you know, quality and stuff. Um, this looks very nice, high quality. And like I said, I'm just like craving that like Danganronpa um, type storytelling. So uh, hopefully this gives me that fix. Um, yeah, one other thing I'll say before our we get into watching this is that i'm going to be going through this slow not only the each episode um but as like a as like the series um i'm not gonna like power through the series on stream or anything so that might be another reason for you to just like go and watch it yourself if you're actually that interested or curious about it um because i don't want to like the series is currently being made so I'd hate to like burst through all five parts and then just sit forever and not get anything. So that's kind of the thing. Um, so it's like a natural uh, reason for you to just go and kind of watch the series yourself if you watch the first part and you're like, oh, I'm really interested or whatever. Um, so go ahead with that. But yeah, I'm going to go slow. It's going to be slow. I'm going to be pausing probably a bunch as I process everything because that's just how I watch shit and uh, digest shit. Um, so yeah, like I said, we'll see how well this goes, uh, at least with the prologue here, at least with this first episode. Uh, like I said, they, it seems as though the prologue is wrapped up, um, which is five episodes. So we'll I'll spurse the, these kinds of streams throughout the streams. Does that make sense? Spread these streams throughout the streams. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Um, let me see. So like I said, Brave Dang Rampa, Coward's Paradise. Uh, before we begin, uh, uh, you know, if this gets on YouTube, uh, a ton of links to the, the original creators, Twitter, Discord, the series channel, it's all going to be in there. So like I said, if you watch like the half of this and you're like, damn, I want to go fucking, um, there's someone being obnoxious outside of the car. Uh, if you want to go watch it, feel free. Please do. More power to you. Let me see if this ends up working. There you go. Got my little face up there in the top left. Just imagine that's my face the whole time during watching this, because I'm sure that will be the case. I'm going to have to balance audio and everything. Let me make sure... So there you go. There's the title, Prologue 1. Okay, let's read this. The following is a non-profit, unofficial fan series based on the Danganronpa franchise. We got one second in. Two seconds, and I paused. With its own original characters and storyline, please support the official release. Brave Danganronpa Coward's Paradise claims no ownership or association with Spike Chunslot, official Danganronpa brand. Oh, shit. Bang in the chair. Uh, or rightful copyright holders of materials used that are not our own. Full credits are in the description. All characters appearing in the series are fictional. Any resemblance to any persons living or dead are purely, purely coincidental. Following features, mature themes, strong language, and graphic imagery. Viewer discretion is advised. Let's get in it. Like I said, I'm probably going to be pausing a ton. I'm probably... Also, I'll adjust audio if I need to. Today is a peaceful day. An yeah, let me try that. Absolutely ordinary run of the mill day. Protagonist, I would assume. Uh, so I should say, I scrubbed through a little bit just to see the quality and stuff. I didn't 
I didn't want to spoil myself too much with going through like the the show's like Twitter account or whatever because I didn't want to spoil too much. I want to kind of go in as clean as possible. Um, so that's I guess more info on this all. Um, but this has got to be pro tag, right? Oh, I, oh yeah, I need to read. Oh, I got to get back into like my Danganronpa mentality here. Where I must read. Okay. Uh, amidst amidst the bustling classroom, I hear my friends bickering about something pointless. Something about some TV show one of them refuses to watch, despite the other's fervent recommendation. Come lunchtime, I'll probably be forced to be a mediator between them when the topic comes up again. Oh, no, they go quick. They go quick in this. We, gotta... <laughs> we can't. Uh, come lunchtime, I'll probably be forced to be a mediator between them when the topic comes up again. It'll be dumb, but fun. I'm familiar with conversations like that. That's exactly how I'd like it. My name is Hiroto Akagi. And as of today, I am an ordinary high school student. Mm. After all, today's the day where I quit being, quit being, quit. Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta just audio again. Try not to have them peek too loud. I'm already being scared though. Being, quit being, quit being, quit being, quit being, quit being. I'm spooked. I'm spooked. Already some mystery. <sighs> My eyes shot open and gazed upon an unfamiliar ceiling, almost blinded by the fluorescent lighting. What? Oh, hello. He woke up. Hey, are you all right? It's already, I gotta say, not bad voice work. For voice work? <laughs> voice work. Voice acting. Um, like I said, I, I dove a little bit into different projects and stuff to just try to, like, pick one that I want to, like, a high-quality high one or whatever. Um, and, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I assume like if, oh fan made you might say like oh the quality's not gonna be great or whatever but so far a minute and a half in I, uh, I'm impressed with the uh, art and voice work quite heavily there are other people here I sat up and turned towards the sounds of the other voices in the room All right, we get the, uh, oh, we get all our, uh, new friends, um, immediately, immediately want to freeze on this and take a look at what we got here. From left to right, we have, uh, super, super pretty boy. I like the jacket look like prep, preppy, prep, prep. Uh, we have striking green eye girl. Uh, wallflower, uh, fourth character here. Looks like some previous Danganronpa characters. Um, hmm. Um, <laughs> white-haired boy here in the front looks like, um, Santa from 999. I might be mis misremembering that name. But, uh, yeah. Like straight up. 16. We're all awake now. I did a quick scan around to get a better look at my surroundings. I counted 15 heads other than mine scattered across a large room. I don't recognize any of them as immediately familiar. Some of them look and dress rather peculiar as well. Well, they have to dress peculiar so that they have distinguishing uh, aspects to them, you know? so that they're more memorable. The room's walls were all featureless and strewn haphazardly around the space were large piles of school desks and chairs. What is this? A storage room? Glad you could join us, sleepyhead. Welcome back to the waking world. Uh, is she talking to me? Seems like I was the one, last one to wake up amongst us. 
Hello? You with us or what? Uh, perhaps he needs time. He might be disoriented from his long nap. Possible. He was out the longest, so maybe he got knocked out extra hard. Oh no! Is your head all right, Signore? Are you hurt? Oh, nice accent. Uh, no, my head's fine. I'm all right. I'm just confused. Where am I? Wouldn't we all like to know? Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, so another thing I noticed about the art, because obviously it's all fan art, fan characters, whatever. Uh, something I, 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 I brought this up about like the red and or black and pink haired boy lad and everything. Uh, just like the actual Danganronpa series, you know how like in each uh game in the series you'd have characters that have like similar traits to like call back upon previous games characters and stuff like that it almost seems like we're getting that kind of quality here as well um like in the top right there the hair the hair that guy um so yeah. what you just, mean you don't know I'm afraid not like it's we're not a bad way but we woke up in here and now we're trapped Trapped? What about that door? It's no use. It's the no door's use. locked. And before you ask, trying to force it open didn't do nothing. Indeed. So there doesn't seem like there's anything we can do but calm down and wait. Calm down? Easier said than done. <sighs> I'm sick of being shut in like this. Let me out already! Oh, can it already? We all want out, but until we can figure out how to get that door open, we can't. All right. Oh, hello. Before she could finish her sentence, we heard a loud electronic beep. Right after that, an unfamiliar electronic sounding voice. All students have awoken. Releasing lock. Uh-oh. This already gives me, like, the feeling of, like, like a Monokuma stand-in or something. As if on cue, as soon as the voice finished speaking, the heavy locking, uh, heavy looking door opened with mechanical whir and clank. Would you look at that? Oh, oh, I gotta read this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, what do you know? Ask and you shall receive. Come on already. Took him long enough. Let's get out of here. Hold it. Hold it. Did you hear that? Looks like it was set to open only when we were all awake. Ain't that fishy? Something wrong? I just, I must be a slow reader. Uh, so I apologize if I have to like pause and it interrupts like the music and stuff. Again, I say, if this interests you, watch it on the actual channel and then you can come back and experience it then with me. You see? You see how this works? It's what it sounds like. Is that a problem? It is strange. Now that you mention it, that is a little strange. How do they know that? Are they monitoring us right now? Ugh, Ugh, talk about creepy. What do you think? Do you think it's dangerous? Uh, heavy, um, uh, Peko vibes there. Who knows? Can't say for certain. What I do know is that being led around like a lab rat rubs me the wrong way. Well... Well, what else can we do? There's nowhere else to go. Dumbass! Yeah, there's jack shit in here. We already combed this place up and down. Huh? But what if it really is a trap or something? Don't stress about it. What? You're stressing about it too much? Oh, not a question. Uh, the second one's not a question. Oh, uh, what's the worst that could happen just from going through a door? Certain Instant doom. death. That's pretty extreme worst case scenario. There's no way that'll happen. Also, I'm gonna lower audio just a bit there. There we go. Just slightly. Are you sure? Are you sure it's absolutely impossible though? You never know. Care to try? Uh, she's got the uh, the distinguished green and red eye it looks like, which clearly denotes that you are an interesting character. No. 
<laughs> Good one. Just like the when I was streaming V3, hopefully I'll start getting better and varied voices for reading these things as we get more familiar with the characters and everything. Surveying the room. It seems like a wave of doubt and uncertainty was slowly spreading about our new... Excuse me, our newly discovered escape route. If I may. You know, if you don't want to go, we don't have to. And what do you suggest we do instead, smart guy? Might be yeah, so why don't we just stay here for a bit longer? It isn't too bad. It's probably safe given we were here for so long. We could board up here and wait for someone to come for us. Hey, here's a oh, good idea. like a bulwark. We could, like, make a fortress out of these desks and stuff. Is that how it works? That seems like an unrealistic proposition. I believe. There does not appear to be any food in this room, so I do not believe there is, is a good idea. Smart. Smart boy. Why are we even talking about this? The only way to go is out. Worrying about stupid things like that is a waste of time. <laughs> but what about the bulwark? Let's do this. That's what I'm saying. We should bull on through and walk right out of here. Idiot. There's no point. He doesn't know what that means. Leave it to me. If it's decided, I'll volunteer to go through first. If anyone's feeling up to it, you can join me. Hey! Hey! Don't take my idea. I'm gonna be first. Um. Uh, it's not a race. I do it. I'll come too. Oh? What's oh. this? What brought this on? Trying to be cool or something? Listen. I was thinking about it. And I just figured out. Figured that if they were planning to do any harm to us, they would have done it while we were in this room or when they kidnapped us to begin with. There wouldn't really be much point of gathering us all up like this if they immediately dispose of us. It's got to be. So I think for the time being, it's safe to assume whoever brought us here probably wants us intact. Yeah, that's it. Hmm, <laughs> makes sense to me. You're right. Uh, if you put it that way, I feel a lot more relieved. <coughs> Surprise, it's my first cough since I'm still, like, coughing heavily. <laughs> I knew it. That's right. There's absolutely nothing to be worried about. Really? Weren't you super scared just a couple of minutes ago? I think I'm gonna like Dark Hair Girl. I gotta say. Gotta say. Spooky, I like the spooky girl. Th that's because- That's just because this guy was saying stuff to scare people for no reason. <laughs> You're just way too easily let on. <laughs> I never said anything about not going. Great. Well so it is, is it decided? We are leaving, yes? <sighs> of course we are. It's what I've been saying from the beginning. Hey, fine, I'm going too. After the first few of us decided to make our moves, moves, plural, we all started towards the door and took a cautious step through. Oh, hey, look at this. I like this. I mean, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> like I said, I'm sorry for all the coughing. Um, normally in like a ding and romp game, we'd get the, uh, um, you know, like the dungeon crawly kind of aspect of like walking around through the halls and stuff. Um, and this, we get it told through like this, uh, top down kind of thing, kind of like how we did in that one section in V3, which I kind of like this. Give us more like spatial awareness, uh, spatial awareness is what I'm trying to say during like uh during scenes and stuff where are we is this some kind of entrance hall or something there's something that looks like a reception desk a few doors and two levels with staircases to go upstairs well we were all still talking and taking in our surroundings suddenly the door we entered in from slammed shut would you look at that? Oh, well, I hope nobody wanted to go back there. What are you about? Who would want to go back? <laughs> I don't know. I was getting a little attached myself. No. She seems... <coughs> she seems chaotic. She's going to be like the chaotic, like, shit stir, it feels like. I just get that sense. 
This isn't really the time for jokes. What is this place? I believe. Is this an entrance hall? Like one that would be seen in a fancy hotel's lobby? But there's something not right about this place. Cannot fi uh, figure out what it is, however. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't say this is fancy. I've been to a lot of nice hotels. This is like a 5 out of 10. A foreboding feeling. I think I get what he means. Something about the air and atmosphere is unnatural. This is... The windows! Oh! What about them? Oh! What about the windows? Are they locked? As we turn to where the windows should be, we all notice at the same time. All the windows had a heavy looking shutter over them, appearing to be fastened into place. Yep, yep, what yep. What the hell? The hell is this? Why is everything closed up? Don't get in the way. Move over. Long haired man got a grip on the sheet of metal covering the wall. Shortly afterwards, his muscles visibly bulged and he let out a roar as he exerted a great amount of force. <laughs> Making myself cough there. Won't budge at all. You want to give it a go together, Baldy? Yeah, just call him Baldy. <laughs> I'll pass. I believe it will be futile. Impossible. If a muscle monster like him couldn't do it, no one can. Do you think? Are we trapped? What? Trapped. What? What? Are you sure? It's impossible. It's common sense that buildings always have an entrance and an exit. Boy with headphones speaking, uh with logic. After all, how do we even get in here if there's no entrance? Are you sure? But what if the entrance is sealed as well, like the windows? Well, uh, well, I... well that's just impossible. Why would someone do that? Something like that. Well, I can think of two possibilities. Either to keep us in here, like a quarantine or a prison, or to keep something else out. Sorry, I got a phone thing, so I was like, Scruffy man. Think you can mess with me? They think they can keep me in a cage, do they? I'll find the way out in no time. He's losing it already. Seems for some reason we're in a building with closed off windows. And what the uh, and what the masked man said just raises more questions. Why on earth are we here? How mysterious. Quite the curious predicament we're in, isn't it? Ah! Uh, when did you sneak up on me? <laughs> Almost, almost like, uh, oh, not exactly, but almost like fourth wall breaking, where she came into, like, the prologue, or er, protags box there. I like that. Like I said, chaotic. Chaotic energy flowing forth from red-haired girl. Sorry about that. Well, to answer that, definitely. I have so many questions. Most of all, what are we doing here? Don't you think? I haven't the slightest idea either, but there must be a common link between us all, don't you think? Hmm. Now, what could it be? Suddenly, the electronic beeping started again. This time, we were all able to see where the source of the sound was. Is this? The monitor above the door has a speaker on it. And then the electronic voice from before spoke once again. Welcome, ultimate students, to Last Hope Sanctuary! No, oh, no. Last Hope Sanctuary. Could, Could this voice be the person who brought us here? Hey. hey, whoever you are, come out and give us some answers. What was that? Hey, what did they say just now? Huh? Ultimate students? <laughs> are you okay? Hey, are you alright? What's wrong? I don't... Scary. Uh... For some reason, she started to look pain the second she said ultimate. <laughs> my head suddenly started ringing and my vision began flashing white. I hate this. My head hurts. <laughs> Brains frying. That was a good, that was a good, uh, we, get, we get those characters in the Danganronpa series where they do that like, mouth bubbly like frothing noise i don't know how else to describe it this. but the way she did that was good <laughs> brain trying everyone's in pain everyone's pain face good to see 
panic, panic and pain. Everyone else seemed to be experiencing the same thing as me. Damn it, hurts. Brain is trying to, trying to. Remember. I remember. I'm an ultimate student. Oh, look at this. Ultimate student. Prestigious title bestowed upon a select number of students across the nation. The requirement to be recognized as an ultimate student. Be the absolute best in your field among your peers across the whole country. There's all kinds of ultimates. Athletes playing at a pro level or even beyond. Singers who's mo who move stadiums full of people with their voice. Researchers who's making breakthroughs in their respective fields. Ultimates are extraordinary people like those. Students chosen to be the beacon of hope of future generations by developing and utilizing their talents. I like the, I like the robot there on the top left. Big fan. <laughs> Little robot friend. I'm one of those. I'm an ultimate student. Yeah, but what kind of ultimate? What kind of ultimate? I remember. Came home one day and saw a letter. A letter proudly bestowed my ultimate title to me congratulating me for my achievements and invited me to where did it invite me in fact who was the letter from I feel like I should remember oh uh, one other thing I should say is that it may be natural that I'm gonna like link things to like the uh, true proper uh, Danganronpa series I will try not to do ever too heavily like spoilers for the games in the main series and stuff, but there might be t times where I will. So uh, throughout me watching this or whatever, if I do, uh, here's your uh, warning, I guess. I only just thought about that though, potentially. <sighs> Three pants. Did that happen to all of you too? Seriously? What was that? Right when they started talking, all these memories came rushing in all at once. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I'm an ultimate student. Hmm. Ultimate student. Indeed. Ultimate. Yes, indeed. I am an ultimate student as well. Oh my. Is this like flashback light stuff? Or something similar? You too? And that means... Could it be? Everyone here is an ultimate student? These 16 people gathered here were all ultimate students. They're supposed to be rare and scattered across the country, but here we all are together. What is going on? That explains it. Going by everyone else's reactions, that seems to be the case. Knowing what we have in common is all well and good, but I don't suppose anyone remembers how or why they're <sighs> here. No, not at all. Taking a glance around me. Uh around told me no one else had a good answer either think about it the how and why maybe not however we may have just gotten at least a partial answer to the where do you remember the other thing the intercom said last hope sanctuary also i'm kind of a fan of this 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 doctor looking lad um if he just exudes the apathy uh I'll probably like him a lot more too so there we go also masked up it's great wear your mask you know what's this is that the name of this place got any ideas does that name ring any bells for anyone i don't know no i do not recall i wonder i've got nothing either i don't know if we should rely on my memory though Good, good, good answer. The voice over the intercom continued. Please, introduce yourselves to each other and make yourselves at home. Feel free to explore and get familiar with the facilities. It will do you well to get used to them as soon as possible. Goodbye for now. Another announcement will be made after an appropriate amount of mandatory socialization and investigation has occurred. Goodbye for now. Left. Spooky. Mm. Seems transmission has ended. 
hey, get back here. You didn't answer anything I wanted to know. What's going on? Uh, my head's still spinning from before. What's going on now? That design, I wanted to see in the, the cane thing she had. What's going on? Has a fucking grenade on it. Why does she look like, um, it's like a fucked up, like, um, <laughs> I was gonna say like, <laughs> like a, a Willy Wonka of destruction. I don't know why immediately I go to Willy Wonka with her get up and, uh, staff cane thing What's going on but that's where my mind went <sighs> really? I was hoping for answers but all that announcement did was raise more questions what's the big idea what do they mean by make yourselves at home don't tell me they're expecting us to stay here I don't wanna she looks like um oh what the hell why is the internet doing this I assume this is the internet. Did I fuck up? Uh oh. Alright, we're back. What's the big idea? <laughs> um, she looks like a... Why do I feel like I've seen someone like this in like a Pokemon game or something? Maybe even like, um... Like just like a, tr a random trainer in a Pokemon game. I don't know. Maybe I'm just going crazy. I don't wanna. I don't wanna stay here. I wanna go home. What are we supposed to do? So what do we do now? Well, uh, I... uh, what can we do? What did I expect? I can't believe you guys would call yourselves ultimates when you have such little initiative. You can manage Here's that. Here's what we'll do. Right. We'll do what the voice says for the time being and get to looking around. You guys can manage that, right? Seriously? Are you serious? Isn't blindly going along with their orders what you were here complaining about <laughs> earlier? This and that are different. I don't have a problem with it as long as it happens to coincide with what I wanted to do anyways. Great. No way. Like hell I'm following any directions from somebody who won't even show their face to us. Answer me. Hey, seaweed head, what was it you said you were going to do earlier? That's all, right? Huh? I said something like, I'll find a way out in no time. Something like that, right? Let me put it Good. this way. Good. You're in luck. That's exactly what they invited you to do. Now go on. Explore and find a way out just like you wanted. You even have my permission to brute force your way through. See if I can. <laughs> I don't like the way you talk, but I guess if you put it that way. I'll bust him up real good. Oh. I've decided. I'm going to explore every inch of this place and bust down anything I can. Good. Because I want to. Not because anyone told me. <laughs> what are you doing? Way too easy. Do I have to? Every inch? That sounds exhausting. Count me out. I'll just wait here. Be difficult. Come now. That's completely irresponsible. Every set of legs counts here. As peers and comrades, our best chance of getting anything done is by putting our heads together. Are you sure? Are we comrades? Hmm? Aren't we? We're all ultimate students facing the same dilemma. Couldn't ask for more reliable comrades. Sorry. I don't know. We barely know each other. Then let's get to it. Well then, how about a rousing round of introductions then? You've got to be kidding me. You're not me. serious, are you? You think now is a good time to drop everything and start socializing? Hmm. All right. All right. Settled. Uh, loud. What's the deal? Well, it's gone into you. What's settled? Yeah, that's it. Plan of action for now. Why don't we kill two birds with one stone by getting to know each other and our surroundings at the same time? You mean... You mean introduce ourselves to each other while we're investigating? What do you think? Not a bad idea, don't you think? This, maybe we'll be able to trust each other a little more. Huh? You think we should socialize? What a pain. That sounds even more exhausting than just investigating. Should have kept my mouth shut. Sounds good. Well, sounds like a solid plan to me. No arguments. Yeah. Yeah, and then we can all group back together and share what we learned. How wonderful! They say two heads are better than one, so think of how productive 16 ultimate heads put together would be. How pointless. Are you listening to yourselves? How pointless. Must be nice being naive enough to think that such shallow niceties are worth anything. I have to agree. He has a point. I don't think we can just force people to trust each other right away. 
What is with you? Just throwing out ideas, man. No need to be so negative. Star's better than nothing, I think. Yeah, everyone's getting on Tattooed Boy here. Um, at least he's taking fucking initiative. Come on, people. Respect the initiative given. Taken. Splendid. Well, I think it is a splendid idea. I'd also love to know what all your ultimate titles are. I do too. I really want to know what the ultimate titles are. I'm like dying here. My ultimate title? Hey. Hey, do you mind if I make something out of an odd request? What's wrong? What's wrong? You don't like the idea either? It's not like that. No, that's not it. I think it's a pretty good idea, actually. I'm sorry. But, I'm sorry. I'm gonna ask something kind of selfish. Do you mind if I don't tell you guys my ultimate title for now? Oh. B excuse me, sir? Against the rules. What's you don't want to share your ultimate title? How suspicious. Talk about suspicious. I agree. Spill it. What exactly do you have to hide? This can't be. Could it be your ultimate talent is something shameful that you can't share? Don't tell me. Just asking, but it's not something we should be worried about, is it? Like, I'd be inconvenient for you if we had our guards up because of it. That's not it. It's nothing like that. It's just... It's something I don't want to talk about yet. Is it embarrassing? <coughs> Have we ever had... Um... A character in the Danganronpa series that was, like, embarrassed by their ultimate title? Is it possible to be embarrassed by your ultimate ability I don't know if embarrassed was anyone Ryoko Ryoka from V3 he just casts aside his ultimate his ultimate tennis ability proness he just didn't care for it anymore the ultimate assassin from V3 she tried to cover it up but I don't think that was because she was embarrassed by it Hmm. Hmm. Please believe me. I'm not hiding it to de deceive you guys or anything. <coughs> <laughs> Would you look at that? So much for your plan to build trust. This guy doesn't even want to participate from the get-go. Now do you understand? That's the level of distrust we're talking about here. Listen. Never said I wouldn't talk, just not about that. Yet. <coughs> My voice is dying here. I'll tell you all eventually, I promise. Well, no. Oh, wow, a promise. You hear that, everyone? You promised. That makes it all okay. Dumbass. No, get real. Alright, <sighs> rude ass. <sighs> I don't see the big deal. I don't see the big deal. Here's what I think. I think you should be able to tell us or not tell us whether whatever he feels like and this is just my impression but i don't think he seems like the type to hide things without a good reason what a load of crap what how can you say that you barely know him are you really okay with that he's totally a suspicious person it's fine he gave his word didn't he it's not something we should be concerned with besides if he really was hiding something malicious he could have just lied about it or something oh yeah lying was an option I was gonna say that too. I was like, why can't you just make up some shit? Fuck it. Something that you, if you were asked about, you would be able to like make stuff up with, you know? You can't do something like preposterous and then not be able to back it up slightly if asked anything about it, but like, yeah, you should just lie. You see. You see, if it was that devastating of a secret, there wouldn't be a point in making a big deal of asking us for permission to hide it. Good, solid point, redhead girl. That would just make it more suspicious. I think he's telling the truth. Don't you think? In which case, trying to pry into it like that seems kind of tasteless, don't you think? He can tell us whatever he's ready. If you say so. Well, when you put it that way. <laughs> nothing good ever comes out of claiming types, let me tell you. You better take responsibility if it comes back to bite us. Um. Um, I think I'm fine with him not sharing for now. You will tell us though, right? Indeed. I do not mind either. As I see it, dwelling on this will just cause unnecessary arguments. Let's respect his request. Done. I just plain don't care at all. Great. There's the apathy I wanted, the apathy I needed. Thank you, Scruffy Man. Swiftly competing to be my favorite guy on the team. Well, 
All hmm, right. Fine. Just make sure you cooperate otherwise, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Sorry for the trouble. Shifty. Boring! Oh my god, are you guys done with this boring-ass conversation yet? <sighs> Whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and start searching, damn it. What? Are you sure? Uh, do you even have a plan as to where you're going? Pain in the ass. How if I know? I'll figure it out as I go. Quit slowing me down with that weak-ass way of thinking. All right. That's going too far. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I was just asking. Damn it. Damn it. Who's a weak ass? I'm going too. Damn. Damn, I can't believe I let those two take the lead from me. We'll crush him. All right, time to rip these walls to shreds. I'm sure he'll be able to just rip his um. way out of the fucking building. Like I said, it's not a race, though I believe they have the right idea. Well, I'll be seeing you all in, uh, in time then as well. One by one, everyone departed and began their own investigations. I should get going myself. Gotta see what I can figure out about this place. Uh, I'm not gonna get the intros this episode. Perfect. Um, I think that pretty much does it. So yeah, like I said, that's the first episode of the prologue. I believe the prologue is all completed. I think that was done this past week, I think maybe. Um, and it's five episodes, so I think all of somewhat similar length. The, uh, like I said, the intention is I'm going to be going slow on this. Uh, next, I mean, next time I do part two will probably be quite some time. Uh, I don't want to like burn through anything too quickly. And like I said, if you're really, if this first episode you watch and you're like, oh shit, I really want to like, I want to know what all the ultimates are. Go ahead and watch the, uh, episodes on the channel proper title there is uh at the top left brave dang and rob coward's paradise like i said it's on youtube all the links uh if this goes up on youtube all the links i'm gonna link a million things uh to the creators uh everything basically but in there will be the links to the actual youtube channel as well just so that you can um you know watch it yourself if you're so curious about who all the characters are but uh like i said Massively impressed with this first episode. Um, like I said, only this past week have I really like dove into the uh, whole fan-made uh, aspect of the Danganronpa series. So I think this has very high potential. I'm super interested in watching it on the channel and everything and just watching it in general. Um, and like I said, I think for uh, what this is, I think it's interesting to get like reactions or like watching along and getting that first raw reaction like i think it's an interesting thing for the channel and kind of something i kind of wanted to do so uh we'll continue see how it goes see how i like it uh and uh yeah thanks for watching along if you did watch along like i said support the uh the main channel there if you care to and we will do part two like i said at some future date i don't know for sure I don't, I'm not going to schedule them necessarily. It'll just kind of be like, hey, am I in the mood to get the next part of the story? Um, am I in the mood to like watch along then? We go ahead because what was this? Like a half hour episode almost? It takes about an hour to watch or whatever. It's, it's cool. An hour to watch in my slow style that I also do. Um, so yeah, I will uh, do a BRB here. I'll head up with a BRB. Let me do this. Yeah, BRB. And uh, I'll switch over to getting up 13 Sentinels started. We'll start back into that. So, uh, beer back. Got a song for you. And we will uh, be back shortly. I'll be back shortly. I don't know what you'll do.